Welcome Virgo to your weekend special for July 20th to the 21st and 22nd, okay? So let's see what's going on with you and love. So the overall energy for Virgo. Oh, overall energy for Virgo. So we have frustration. Again, this energy is kind of going with the energy of the week, I feel, for a lot of you. Maybe very frustrated with somebody, circumstances, just not wanting to be bothered, I feel. Could be with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but this is um, kind of being outwardly aggressive, like showing your frustration, or sometimes these are pent up emotions that are, you know, um, almost destined to burst at some point in time. So um, be careful with that energy, all right? Personal energy coming towards you for Virgo. That person's frustrated, and that's why I feel like you might be as well. So they might not be ready for the connection if you're not ready for them. I see. You know, you both kind of turned away um, from one another. So I feel like that person may be angry, not wanting to be around, or the fact that you're feeling that way. So they could be frustrated as well. So um, there's some issues there. So let's see. What is your response, Virgo? Taking care of yourself. Um, I believe um, mm, cancer had this as well you could be dealing with the cancer for some um, but this is you know trying to bide your time take your time not be so aggressive with someone um, easier said than done so I feel like inwardly these are going to be emotions that you might be dealing with and sometimes you might express them and a lot of times you might hold in most of it good thing try to do that all right for some but I feel like those energies are very tense some of you might be dealing with again um, maybe a fire sign showing up what is the advice for Virgo move forward all right a lot of you might need to move away from a scenario where you're stuck and trapped into what you feel is good for you um, it tells you to have confidence this, this is the energy of being successful take a road trip travel get things off your mind but um, get away from whatever is not really serving you so um, that's a good sign to see maybe get out just go somewhere come take a break all right on vacation a mini vacation let's see the outcome for Virgo So Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, where you may be very frustrated, you might be around that particular person, they may affect you in some way, either someone from your past, someone that you're currently dealing with, um, two different people that could be in your scenario, and I feel like this is the energy, it's still being very overly emotional with somebody, um, trying to ground yourself, you know, but dealing with a lot of stress, um, energetically, fire energy here, water energy, but I feel like you... Some of you might be dealing with two different people or two different situations where you're trying to conquer both and not lose your cool. So um, let's see one more card. Clarify the Four of Cups for uh, Virgo. Um, that person may be going through a divorce or they're not wanting to commit right now and some of you might be feeling the same way due to your beliefs or restrictions in a marriage or um, some kind of separation that might be there. So that person may just really... Um, be reluctant to open up to you right now so let's see um two cards for virgo what do we July. whoa so just flew so we have past life relationship you have known each other before and this came out for you for the weekly um i believe or it might have been a daily all right um some kind of karmic connection where you're constantly back and forth with a certain person it just depends um it doesn't mean it the it's the signs but something some kind of energy where you need to let something go or even it's a very positive thing where you it's like a soulmate a kindred spirit somebody that you have known and you feel like something is there is a reason why you are be attracted to or constantly back and forth with this particular person maybe unfinished business it just depends so one more card for Virgo for the weekend. And then you have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So that positive energy for a lot of you, um, there is something big that is um, coming about. But right now, you and your partner may be frustrated with things moving forward because of some interference or just energetically interfering with one another. All right. So um, if anything, this is a very positive card to have fun, to enjoy your time with friends, family, even to go see a romantic partner if you have the time. Um, so, you know, go ahead and do that. Give into that energy. Tons of love. Lots of light to you. Tons of healing vibes. I wish you the best. And you can always go to PsychicLoveHills.com to schedule something for you. Have a good one.